When a site shows the HTTP error 503, it means that the server is temporarily unavailable to handle a request. Now, this can happen when a server is undergoing maintenance or there's a surge request for that site. Since this error is temporary, it will resolve itself in a short period of time. However, if the error doesn't disappear after a few minutes of waiting, then make sure the issue isn't only happening to you. There are many sites that will check the status of a website and let you know if it's down for them too. If it is down for them and you are not the admin of the website, your only real option is to wait or perhaps even contact the site owner and see if there's troubleshooting that they can do. Now, if you're seeing this error on a site that you manage and have access to the servers, there are a number of things you can do to try and find a solution. And we're gonna check out seven of them right now. Number one, restart or reboot the server hosting the site. You might think this is pretty obvious, but sometimes this can fix your issue. Number two, check for unexpected automatic maintenance. If you're using WordPress or similar, sometimes they do automatic updates. And while it's updating, you'll actually see the error 503. So just give it a little bit of time. Number three, check on your bandwidth. It's highly likely that when a site gets popular and receives a lot of visitors, it can overwhelm the server and throw back error 503. Number four, check server connectivity on the server chain. Any of the servers in the chain could be down for maintenance, which is causing yours to have an error code. Number five, badly configured firewalls could be causing this issue. So it's possible somewhere on the network, it's showing a false positive and blocking content that isn't necessarily malicious. So definitely go and check your firewall. Number six, if the error still has not been resolved, you're gonna have to dive into those logs and search for something that could be triggering it. And finally, number seven, the last thing you could do, your last hope is to check your code, sift through it and find any bugs that might be triggering this error. Ideally, you're not gonna get that deep onto this list. This error should resolve itself. And if not, one of the first few solutions should work. Now, if for some reason you're still having an issue, you're gonna to wanna to contact your hosting provider. They should be able to pinpoint a little bit deeper and find that problem causing error 503. Anyways, though, we do hope we were able to help you with this error. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.